So whatever happened to the man who claimed that he was a mechanized cyborg from the year 2050, who had come back in time to warn the human race of an upcoming global apocalypse? Now, Oren's mother, Anita, and sister, Samantha, were concerned about him and thought this was just all a big act. Hey, Oren. It's a little dark in here. We prefer it dark in here. My son, Oren, thinks he's a cyborg from the year 2050. Mother, just come down. You are just disturbing come down. our operations. Listen, listen, we listen. are receiving just come programming. Down. We are watching video. We are learning. Oren has robotic movements and robotic speech. It's a glitch, like he's a computer. Your intensity will be matched. He talks in a collective, we need to, you know, save the planet from sudden doom. Is he always in cyborg mode? He's always in cyborg mode. Did you ever notice that in times of stress, he would seem to withdraw? He started that once he came back home after college. He would be in his room working on, you know, whatever it is that he does on his computer. Welcome to our headquarters. Hello, we are Orin, a digital and collective conscious and cyborg sent by a higher civilization to save mankind from the Matrix. We are a collective conscious sent uh -huh. from a higher civilization to warn people of the incoming apocalypse. How will it end? With environmental disaster, disease, and famine. Will the planet still be here? The planet will be destroyed. Will you be mechanized by then? We are already mechanized. There is a brain implant, which is how we speak to you right now. Orin is but a shell. OK. Orin, you don't have a brain implant. Do you think? that your mother enables him. But I wouldn't call her an enabler. But she tells him to get a job, but she doesn't enforce it. She pays for everything, you pick up all the bills, right? Yeah. So you're kind of parenting out of guilt and fear. That is true. What do you think about what he said so far? I think it's nonsense. Oren, you're my son, I love you, but you're not a cyborg. Well, here is what Oren and his mother Anita say has happened since leaving the show. Hi, Dr. Phil. Hi, Dr. Phil. Since we've been on the show, a lot has happened. Oren went to receive treatment to help him with coping mechanisms to help his mind from veering off into his fantasy world. Having Dr. Phil work with our family gave us this whole renewed optimism the treatment helped to give us coping mechanisms. They said that we were living in a delusional world, but we believe that our message is valid. Enter. Although he did still believe he was a cyborg, he felt like he changed, like, as if Dr. Phil, like, really made him think about things. I was hoping that maybe we could go for a walk outside. It is possible. For a while, it was working. I got him to engage more with his family. Then the pandemic came and it seemed like he regressed. You must make sacrifices for the greater good of society. I don't think Orrin predicted COVID-19. I think that this is just a part of life. There has been tension in our house. Our mother is a non-believer. For that reason, she has asked us to leave. I'm tired of living with a cyborg. He'll have to, I guess, find his cyborg life elsewhere. I realized that Dr. Phil was spot on. He made me look at myself. I was actually enabling Oren in his behavior. Joining us virtually is Oren. Oren, uh, tell me how things are going now. Hello, Dr. Phil. We are continuing to work on the mission. And, and you say that your mother does not understand how this all works because it's on computer. Correct. Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!